Well, in an effort to bring the community and law enforcement together, the Panama City Police Department is hosting a creative event to kickstart your morning with a smile. And News Routine's Tess Rowland joining us live this morning from the Press Coffee Shop with more on the event. Good morning, Tess. Hey, good morning, Chris and Aaron. I wish you were here. We're enjoying some coffee from the press this morning. And of course, you can do that too tomorrow and help support local law enforcement at the same time. And I'm actually joined this morning with Mr. Ken McVeigh. He works with the Panama City Police and then Kevin Mitchell. He's the owner of the press. So talk to me about this event where people can enjoy a good old cup of joe and of course meet with local law enforcement in the area. Yeah, we, we try to do on a fairly regular basis what we call cops and coffee and it's tomorrow morning right across the street here at the Center of the Arts and 8.30 in the morning. Uh, we're very thankful for the partnership we have with the press and they're gonna provide the coffee uh, tomorrow morning. But it's an opportunity for the people who live in Panama City or own a business in Panama City to come in and have a chance to talk to our community policing unit and be able to express any concerns they might have and get some positive feedback to us about what we're doing or what we can do to help make their lives better and maybe enrich the, uh, what's going on in their, in their neighborhoods and make them feel a little safer in their neighborhoods as well. Great way to make for a better community there. And Mr. Kevin Mitchell, you know, as I was saying to my photographer this morning, the landscape of downtown has really changed a lot. There's a lot more businesses. This is my first time here. So how does it feel to be able to really forge that community uh, with local law enforcement? Um, it's amazing. I, uh, I tell everybody, you know, what we're doing downtown uh, Panama City on Harrison Avenue in the outskirts of, of Harrison. Um, the guys who are down here, several of us investors and people who are down here trying to uh, bring downtown Panama City back to life, we're able to do this because of the, the relationship and the faith that we have in our local law enforcement and our first responders and EMTs to keep the streets and, and what we're trying to do to keep, it, keep the community safe and keep the community growing in the right direction. And um, since Michael, the hit everyone took, and then after the pandemic, you know, it's it's a it's an easy thing to do to get a negative mindset about a lot of things. Um, and I think that a lot of business owners and people down here, what we're trying to do is just do every single thing in our power to bring back a positive thought process and a positive outlook on what we're doing, and and it's working. I feel like it's working. Yeah, beautiful way to put it. Positive relations, making for a better community. And again, this is going to be tomorrow at 8.30 a.m. Come grab a cup of coffee at the Center for the Arts. And of course, give that feedback to local law enforcement to make for a better community. Thank you guys so much. And live in Panama City, Tess Rowland, News 13, Panhandle Strong.